Hey guys, welcome back to Dip Switch Demos. My name is Jackson and today we're checking out the Dr. Scientist Sounds Dusk. The Dusk is a completely new type of effect for me. I've never played with any anything like this before in my life. So it is a low pass filter, a digitally controlled multi-mode analog low pass filter. The circuit inside here is based off an old school um, operational transconductance amp amplifier or an OTA, check me out with the facts. In its most basic form, a low pass filter essentially cuts off the high frequencies. And you can probably see why I thought at first, well, okay, cool, what can what can this low pass filter do for me? And because this pedal is digitally controlled, the kind of options it gives you are almost endless. There's a few different modes in here and it really takes the idea of a low pass filter to the extremes. So controls wise, the three knobs on the top, we have filter, resonance, and your overall volume. The filter knob is a digital control, so it gives you a bit more power over your um, over the filter. It has a slightly different function depending on what mode you're in as well. Uh, the resonance and volume uh, controls are completely analog and they remain the same throughout the different modes. The resonance control basically controls how much of the signal is going back into itself so you can really get some wacky sounds with this and once you crank that knob it gets really kind of almost like spaceship sounding. sounding. The two buttons below that are the overall mode button uh, which, which switches between your cut, envelope and LFO modes and then the right button is what they call the alt button and it has a few different it kind of sub functions depending on what mode you're in. And then the two switches on the bottom, obviously we have a bypass switch on the right and then the left switch is a multi switch, which again has different functions depending on what mode you're in. Other than that, we have an expression in for some sweeping sounds. Unfortunately, I don't have an expression pedal, but I can imagine it works really well with this. It gives you a lot more flexibility. We also have a MIDI in to sort out your presets. We also have five internal presets if MIDI is not your sort of thing like me and then top mounted jacks and a nine volt in. So I'm gonna break down the modes first and then we'll have a little bit of playing in between just so you can hear what the different modes are doing. And then right at the end of the demo, we'll chuck it on a pedal board and get some kind of crazy synthy paddy uh, guitar sounds and it's gonna be a lot of fun. So first of all, the cut mode. This is kind of the most simple that this pedal can be essentially works as a low pass filter. So your filter uh, knob controls the cut uh, or where the cutoff point for the filter is. Rolling it up you get more highs and as you wind back the knob it cuts off the highs. The multi switch and the alt button work together in this mode. Um, so when you hit hold the multi switch it does a sweep of the filter so it kind of, uh, you'll hear in the demo, but essentially it sweeps down on the filter and the alt switch controls the speed of that so you have three different speeds.
Next we have the envelope mode and like I said this works similarly to a traditional envelope filter style pedal. There is an internal sensitivity trim pot which I've maxed out, it seems to work best with guitars uh, when it's maxed out so that most sensitive it can be. Um, if you are maybe using a drum machine or a synth or a keyboard into this you might want to back that off to suit what instrument you're using. The filter knob in this mode limits the range of the sweep, uh, the alt button reverses the sweep so instead of going from high frequencies to low it goes from low to high and then the multi switch on the bottom acts as a freeze. <laughs> The final mode is the LFO mode and for me this is where the pedal really comes to life. It's the most fun and it's the easiest place to get the craziest sounds. In this mode the alt button provides you with six different wave shapes. We have sine, a ramp and then a sawtooth, a square wave, a sample and hold which is my favourite, almost sounds like a step filter sequences type thing and then finally a random which combines all six of those into a kind of random sequence and it's a lot of fun. The multi switch in this mode acts as a tap tempo so you can control the rate of the uh, LFO. <laughs> So that just about covers all the controls and the modes of this pedal. Right now we're going to jump into some more overall tones with a whole pedal board and have some fun with some different sounds. When this first arrived I really didn't know what to do with it, I didn't know where to put it 
where to put it in my signal chain. And really quickly, I realized that you just need to forget all that. Just mess around with it, have some fun, get some tones that are completely new to most guitarists. So tones wise today, well, I'm gonna use my Music Man St. Vincent with this in the middle, including the pedal board, which has, I put up a picture, I can't remember what it's on it, but I put up a picture of the pedal board um, into the Victory V40, set up completely clean and dry into the Waza Tube Amp Expander, which is where my reverb's coming from. It's also emulating a 212 cab, mic'd up with a ribbon mic and an SM57, going straight into Logic. <laughs> Thanks guys for checking out the video, if you like what you saw please subscribe and maybe check out some more and I'll see you in the next one. Cheers guys!